Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today in this tutorial, we will be covering how you can make a multi-slot save system. This will allow you to have multiple save slots and have a really nice save system. And of course you can have it work with one save slot or a hundred. So if you ever have any questions or need help, feel free to join our discord. I'll leave a link in the description or comments. Be a pinned comment for leaving the comments. Anyways, let's get into the tutorial. So you want to have a save spatula here, let's call this save. And you want to have a save.gd script and have it set as a script of the save spatula. Or it can be a node or whatever. I have it as a spatula, but it doesn't matter which one you do. Now, what you want to do is do... I have an empty script. You can build off your own script or whatever. I would recommend clearing it, but it doesn't matter. Because the default script has a bunch of extra stuff, I feel it takes a bit of time to clear and I don't really want to have that in there. So, on base file path equals res. And we can have save files. Now, what we want to do is create a new folder in this save files. What we want to do next is have var file name equals res save files and I guess you can have a base of slash save dot json doesn't matter which one you do you can just have a basic one here this would be affected by having more slots so this would be changed so let's say you want to change this slot of save five this will become a save five. So just have a default one there, whichever one you want. Next one initialize a empty dictionary or table, whatever you want to call it, for data. And we're to have a save data function, so we can have func save data var name variable name and value. Next, we're going to have data of variable name, variable, if I spell again, variable name is equal to value. We're going to have var of file equals file.new. This be uncapitalized, sorry. We have file.open, file name. So I keep making small typos, it's I apologize. Anyways, we can have file dot right. So book app last, right? Oh my god, man, that typo. Anyways, so we can open the file. Now we can do file dot store string. This stores a string we file. And obviously data is a table or dictionary or whatever you want to call it. It's be a dictionary technically, but I like to call it a table. So what we have to do is convert it to a string. And we can do that by using the to JSON function. So to JSON to convert it to a JSON string and data. Next we can do file or close the close the file. And that's the save data function done. As you can see, we didn't have to do any much stuff for having what about save slots, but there's more we have to load the data in, of course, we have to switch between save slots, so let's go into those functions. Func load data. Then we can do is var file, this file not new. It's capitalized, it's not capitalized. And then if file exists, file name, file dot open, file name, and file dot read. Now, as you can see, obviously, I'm not going to be going super in depth about how to be able to do lots of stuff with this. My main Go is to be able to 
just has something that you can build off of. So I've got the file here. And so this would work perfectly as a safe system, but you would still have to go through all the work of, you know, pulling a safe data function and all that. But this is showing how to build a basic framework for it and have a good idea of how it works. Parse save data equals first JSON and then file get as text. Next, we can do file dot close. Once again, close the file. Then, if type of save data it's data right equals type. Let me go slide. Sorry, type dictionary. Let's go the correctly. Dictionary. Yep. Data equals save data. It says I have an error here. I think I forgot to put a an echo one of those accident. Now that's our loading function done. And now you just be able to have to switch save slots so you can have bunk set save slot this would be the slot so this would be a string or of course if you have an integer a number you can just call it as a str of slot basically before you put a function or something but i'm not really sure to think that's something kind of easy data equals so we set the data to make sure we don't have any overflow from last time in case there's extra variables from the last time that we didn't have uh, in this one. So such so a carried over. Then we can do file main equals base file path plus slot. Got that. Now we can have a func ready. This we're testing. So basically I have everything done. Now we just have to test it. So let's do load data. Let's bring data. Say data is level. And set this to pen. Let's say let's set save start to save one this could be any string i'm just having it as this so now that i have that we can then do let's say we want to print data once again actually let's i think we can just print data so now as you can see when we first print it we have no data then after you print it we have data now if we play again as you can see when we load it we have 10 level 10 and of course you say level to 10 again so it's 10 once again now let's say we want to set save set the save slot to slot 2 and we have no data and then it's level 10 we can save it to 30 and then let's see, we're going to go back to the save slot one. And once again, load it, it's at 10, now it's 30. And if you ever find you need to look at the data for whatever reason, you can open in file manager. Oh, didn't go into save files. That's uh, weird, I'm going to be honest. I think I might have made a mistake here somewhere. The point is, is that you can, let's say open your WordPad, whatever, you have it stored here. You know, I forgot why I didn't go into there. Base file pass, so that would be class save files and save.json. If we don't set the save spot, then does it go there?
Yes, Confirm Manager. Okay, that is um. Okay, I see the issue. I forgot to put a slash here. Let me close this or did I open it? Uh, okay, I didn't open the periods. So now it should be working fine, right? Let me set safe slot to. Save fine. Then we can open the file manager. And yeah, it's saved it now. So there's a slight issue where I had it wrong, but now it should be fine. I think it's still packed now, it should be better. And we can save anything we want there. So we can save. You can save persistence of objects, everything. We can save, say, um, my table. Hi. How do I do dictionaries in CD script again? I've got, um, yeah, just to like, I'm gonna save it as empty one. Yeah, it should work. Um, I haven't done enough. Uh, what is it? Stuff in here. So I think I can do something like I can, right? To be okay, I see. And now, as you can see, it works. We can have it there. So you can save any type of data, basically. And let's see, we can go into File Manager and view the save. We can edit it. And of course, if you are worried about people cheating, you could always have some encryption on it or some compression or something like that where you, you know, compress it to something that's kind of harder to read. Something like that. I wouldn't go into I'm not going to this video. You can probably find some good tutorials on how to compress a string or how to encrypt it or something like that. You encrypt a file, that kind of stuff, and then just decrypt it or decompress it or something like that on this side here once again when you're loading it. And of course you can set the safe slots and say whatever you want to save it to. Let's say you want to save money hundred. And now we can go back into here so you can see it's saved. And we now have it here. Anyways, I hope this tutorial helped you. If it did, please consider subscribing. I'm sorry I made a few type of mistakes and stuff and it's a bit confused with the this part. Anyways, I wish you a good rest of your day and hope this tutorial helped you. Goodbye.